Okay, so this is another video for uh, UW Student Seminars organizers. And today what I'll do is I'll add a new potential topic. So we can go over the process of adding topics to the list of potential topics. Uh, and this list basically forms um, a bunch of suggestions for speakers, right? So speakers who don't know what to do can read through the list. And immediately it might seem daunting. There are probably around 104 topics on this page. So what we do have is an organization system where we have pages like the algebra page contains um, past talks and talk suggestions uh, related to algebra. And of course algebra is a big tag but if you drill down you can probably find a topic where there are just a few suggestions that might be interesting for the particular speaker. So how do I add a new topic? The first step is to find a topic to add. And um, historically what we've done is used a GitHub project for this. So this is the new topics project. Um, currently it's number six on a list of projects, but I, I suspect the, the position might change. Um, if you click this project, it will give you four columns. Um, five columns, right? So these are topics that have already been added. Uh, here are topics that have been added, but we need a summary for, uh, an excerpt for. Here are topics that still need to be added to the website, and here are topics that we're considering adding to the website. So uh, what we'll do is very simple. We'll just um, add this topic, compress sensing, to the website. Uh, so let's read a bit about it. Um, so compressed sensing makes every pixel count. So this particular reference uh, is not that great. It's great for, I guess, introducing a uh, user to the subject, but it's not great for uh, actually doing a talk, I imagine, because I don't think it's very heavy in the actual mathematics. But what we can see from browsing through the topic quickly uh, is that, OK, so there's some linear algebra involved, but predominantly, it's about signal processing, right? And uh, compressed sensing apparently is about, um, in, so it's about instead of compressing a picture uh, after you've already taken it, what you do is you compress the picture in the camera. And basically, that's, that's uh, not useful in the visual, visual wavelengths, but it could be very useful for, um, according to this, could be very useful for non-visible um, wavelengths. So basically this is a uh, talk about signal processing and we anticipate that it has some mathematical background, primarily stats and linear algebra. Um, so that we, we take note of that because it might be useful later. But let me show you how to actually add the topic. We'll click the repository seminar and on the readme file, there's a link to the potential topics tool. So let's click this link, the potential topics tool. And what it is, it's going to load the data from GitHub, which shouldn't take very long. And we have four fields to fill in. Uh, the name of the topic, a few tags, references, and an excerpt, which is a brief summary of the topic. And basically what it will give us is a result, which will be um, the JSON file of all topics and we copy that and we'll click this link afterwards. So uh, yeah the instructions are up here but what we'll do is we'll add this topic compressed sensing and we were thinking a little bit about tags right and we noticed that there is some linear algebra involved so let's tag with algebra and linear algebra and there was some signal processing involved so we might type with we might tag with statistics, uh, information, theory, and signal processing. And strictly speaking, I mean, it might not be very related to any of these fields, except signal processing. But our goal is to um, make our tag system useful, right? So we don't necessarily want topics to be strict subsets, but any topic that's related to the field. Like, you could imagine someone who's interested in uh, 
information theory to be also interested in compressed sensing, uh, which is why we'll tag with information theory. And um, I suppose there might, yeah, I suppose this is really just about the the math, right? This is the journal here is an AMS, so we don't really want to tag with physics, right? Someone who's interested in physics probably will not be interested necessarily in the compressed sensing. So, yeah, so it looks like um, this is a good good batch of five tags, algebra, linear algebra, statistics, information theory, and signal processing. And we'll add the reference. So we'll just copy this link and we'll add the reference. And the format that we want is author, comma, title, and then in round brackets, the reference. So in square brackets, we'll put the author and the title. So let's check out the author of this is uh, Emmanuel Candice, I think. I think, let's check. Yeah, I believe that's the author. Well, actually we should check because I don't know if he's the author of the article or he's, oh uh, no, so he's just mentioned in the article. Um, okay, so the, I don't see an author immediately. So what we'll do is we'll just include the title. Compressed sensing makes every pixel count. So we'll do this. Compressed sensing makes every pixel count. And again, this isn't a very good reference, right? Because it's not very mathematical. So we might Google the topic and see if we can find. So this this looks like a better reference. Uh, introduction to compressed sensing. So Davenport, Duarte, Elder, and Coutinhoc. Uh, and actually just for easy citing, I think what we can do is we can probably Google Scholar this this article, right? So all right, I'll copy this introduction to compressed sensing. And we'll go to scholar.google.com. Uh, and then we can take cite. So we can copy um, a citation here, uh, which is just so it just makes it our job a little easier. And of course, we'll provide the URL as this is a different URL, but I believe this is the same. Yep, we'll use this URL, it seems a little better. Yeah, so we the, the format's a little flexible, and if we have a citation format, that's great because it gives more information about where we found the article. Um, excellent. So the next step is to give a brief summary of the topic, and it helps you actually know a little bit about compressed sensing. So, yeah, so I believe I, I can't really write too much because I'm not very familiar with it, but we can just give a quick quick description of what really the topic is about, right? And from what I take of it, compressed sensing is about um, minimizing the information stored by sensors, reducing the need for file compression later on. So my understanding of compressed sensing is you, regularly you have your sensor produce a full like for example a camera will produce a big raw file and then you compress the file later on for transmission and compressed sensing is about just minimizing how much information is um, gathered and stored by sensors and this can minimize costs for you know certain applications um, or let's say reduce costs for certain applications such as non-visible wavelength um, cameras. So that's basically from the linked article. And yeah, so that's a single pixel camera basically I guess could be a little cheaper for non-visible wavelength cameras. And what we want again is for things to be useful. So more so than sticking to a particular format we just want it to be as useful as possible. Uh, try to keep the topic as short as possible, give as many relevant tags as possible, 
and as many useful references as possible. And once all that's done, we just copy to clipboard and we click this link. Uh, so what you do is you select all, so select all, or you can press Control A, and you paste. And just write add compressed sensing topic. You can just click commit. Now uh, it's good to check that what we've added actually went through. So we can just click th this and you can see, oh no, what happened here? Um, normally there's not this large of a change. Oh, oh dear. Um, Okay, so I think I something's messed up. I don't know if it's a tool that's broken or maybe I copied wrong. So let's let me fix that. So I think in this case I probably copied wrong. Um, so we're supposed to only see one topic added, not uh, so many topics added. So if you've copied wrong, uh, what you do is you just go back here and replace. And uh, let's check to make sure there's only one copy of each topic. So let's search for, I think computable functions was the next one. So we check, yeah, it looks like there's only one copy of computable functions now. Fix mistake. So yeah, I'm not going to cut the video or edit it. This is a good opportunity to, to go through, go over what you can do to fix the mistakes. So yeah, that deletes all the extras. So I must have just not selected all in that case. and. I only pasted it. I didn't actually replace the original content. Uh, so yeah, that is how you add a new suggested topic to the website. And it should be on the website under the, the tags that we added uh, in about five to six minutes. Thank you very much.